It's a 2018 Red Deer Rut. I'm out here now scouting ahead of the guys just to see what I can find. And uh, I heard some roaring down in this gully, so I sort of dropped down, got my wind in my face, dropped straight down on top of them. And uh, around the side of the hill came a lovely young hind. Looks like a probably a two-year-old, maybe three-year-old. And uh, I knew there'd be a stag not far behind. I could hear one roar down low, bits of grunts, and a really good roar across the other side. And this is a situation that a lot of young hunters get themselves in, and oftentimes they'll make the, the wrong decision. And this is sort of how it plays out. Around the side of the hill came this lovely stag. The first thing you see are the two Shanghai tops. Now, a lot of guys that haven't shot a stag before would think double five, boom, first chance they got, they'd take the shot. What we urge our hunters to do is just take a little bit of time and a little bit of care, think about the situation, look what you've got. When it gets closer, you see that this stag is actually missing a tray tine on one side. Now, it's, it's an unusual trait. You don't often see a tray tine drop without the tops drop, dropping as well. But this stag is missing a tray tine. Might grow it again, but usually they don't. Having said that, it's only a four-year-old stag, possibly a five, I think it's only a four-year-old. You look at it, it's very uh, light round the muzzle. It's got those big, uh, like sunglasses, light colours. Its ears are longer in proportion to its head. It hasn't got the big curls in between its coronets. Its coronets are higher, not as big. Its brow tines, are, uh, and brow and bay tines, are thin and not that long. Overall, the, the shape of the body of this animal doesn't make it look like an old mature stag. Um, its antler structure doesn't make it look old and mature. The way it's roaring, again, you wouldn't say it's an old stag. So with our system, we have a six and a half year rule, which is basically middle age. And we look at a stag like that and say, is it middle age and below or middle age and above? Straight away, I'd look at that and say, middle age and below, don't shoot it. It's got enough style, that stag, that I think it'll make some of you a great trophy in years to come. So I gave it time, let it come round, it picked up its hind, gave a couple little growls and stood there on the side of the hill. On the other side of the gully, however, we had a big roar coming out. So once I could dodge past that young stag, I dropped down in the gully and uh, the wind was terrible, sucking around, but I got a little bit of video footage of a lovely old double five. Big, thick, timbered, short on the uh, royal tine, but still good forks on the top. This stag looks to me to be eight years plus. So I'd say six and a half rule again, six and a half and above. How much above? You need to look and see. For a trophy hunter, if you let that young stag go and concentrate on the game, get in closer to the big roar that's in the gully, and there's a prime trophy. Now that stag there has probably been mating in that area uh, for three or four years, uh, maybe more. So he's had his time. He could be now picking up his daughters and his granddaughters, or his daughters of his daughters even. So it's time for him to go out of the herd and let the younger fella come in. So that's what we call quality deer management, it works, the uh, runs are on the board now after 23 years of doing this here with the Ridge Group in Queensland. This is our world. This is our wild country.